Hello, I'm Andrew at Science Tech, and I'm here to show you about our PTS system. This here is a modular PTS system. We also sell an integrated PTS system, but this one has been taken all apart because we have a special customer that wants this sample chamber inside of their glove box, and we have to keep the rest of the components outside. So the heart of the PTS is the TLS, which is our tunable light source. This is a xenon light source and a monochromator that makes a quasi-monochromatic beam. Also has a order sorting filter and a chopper, and this needs to be directed towards the sample. It comes through this fiber optic and into the chamber. Additionally, to make proper measurements with our PTS, which stands for photovoltaic testing system is we need a bias light. Our integrated system has a small bias light covering one inch diameter, but here our customer wants a larger light. So we used our light line solar simulator with a very large fiber that goes into the chamber. This chamber will be put inside the glove box and all the lines will be passed through the wall of the glove box to make a nice efficient system specifically for that customer. And we can make a specific system for you if you, not, if you need that. So let's turn it on. There's a lot of components here. We'll start by turning on the TLS. There's a switch on the back here, which turns on the touch screen power supply. So I go through the menu to turn on the fans for the lamp and to ignite the lamp itself. And now the lamp is on. Now we should also turn on our Lightline Solar Simulator. It's very similar. It also has a touch screen power supply. Switch on the back. Use the touch screen menu to turn on the cooling fans required for the lamp. And then ignite the lamp itself and it is on. You can also have a set point which returns the lamps to the right current, the right irradiance level that was set previously. So now that our lamps are on, we'll turn on the more sensitive equipment, including the lock-in amplifier. And the lock-in amplifier works with the chopper, which is installed here, in order to pick up the chopped monochromatic light. We use the Keithley Source Measurement Unit to get accurate readings of the current produced by the sample. And the sample is in the sample chamber here. You can see the sample is on our cell chuck here. We provide cell chucks that have a vacuum hold down as an option, or thermoelectrically cooled and heated, or liquid cooled and heated, as the case may be. Typical arrangement is to have four probe measurements. So four probes can make contact with the sample. And we have the electrical interface, which goes and hooks up into the Keithley and the lock-in amplifier, and all controlled by the computer which is back there out of sight. Now, this sample chamber has the nice feature that the bias light can shine straight down if needed in order to provide a measurement straight down at class AAA over a two inch diameter. Just put it back into its 
position for the PPS. Also, we can move and adjust the sample stage to move it back and forth to find the right position for the sample underneath the monochromatic light coming in here and the bias light coming in on this angle. Additionally, we can lower and raise the stage to where the monochromatic light and the solar simulator are in focus. Okay. Additionally, this part of the cover comes off to allow easy access to adjust your probes and make changes to the electrical connection, whatever else you need to do. I will release the two buttons here, slide it out a bit. And when it's all together, it makes a nice light tight chamber. And now we position the computer here, which allows us to run the software that takes all the measurements for the various modes of measurements, including just taking an IV curve for the sample, or doing a spectral responsivity, internal quantum efficiency, whatever the case may be. The software has been recently modernized. We'll open it up, expand it out to fill the screen, and allow it some time to register and acknowledge all the different components that the software is talking to.